Are you ready to get deleting duplicates on your Mac? Join me now and I'm going to show you how to use Photo Sweeper to clean them up. Hi, I'm Molly Bartelt. I own Pixology, where we've been organizing people's photos and deleting gazillions of duplicates over the past 10 years. Photo Sweeper is an essential tool on a Mac to do that. So we're gonna dive into that, but before I do, I want to just point out this video, turn your photos into a legacy. Eliminating duplicates is just one part of the process, and this video will share our entire system for preserving family photos. I think you'll find it helpful if you've been wondering how to proceed with all of the pictures in your family's collection. Let's take a look at Photo Sweeper. The first thing we're gonna do to use Photo Sweeper is get it from the App Store. Be sure you buy the full version. It's $10 and well worth it. So I'm gonna click open and that brings us the welcome to Photo Sweeper screen. The right hand column will show you the folders that you've cleaned uh, in the past and maybe you wanna revisit one of those folders, you can just click on it and go in. I ignored these three buttons for the most part. I click scan another folder. So Photo Sweeper is designed to scan folders and that includes your entire photos library, which essentially is a folder. Apple just has it nice and packaged up here for you. I'm not gonna scan my photos library. I actually teach to work with photos in uh, folders on your computer in the Finder. So for today's purposes, I'm gonna go to the desktop and I have two demo folders here to, to work on. We have the 2021 photos folder. I know this is a clean set of pictures and then this folder I think are duplicates that I found in another location. All right, so I'm gonna click both of them and click scan. And it's gonna load these pretty quickly. Uh, it's 2,500 pictures, about 35 gigabytes. So that loading is, is kind of fast. I do wanna point out that you can use these buttons down here to add other folders um, or clear the list if you wanna start over. So we're gonna just click compare. And when you do that, it's gonna ask you a couple questions. We want to select similar photos. Uh, this program compares pixels by pixels. So it's gonna look for photos that um, you know look alike regardless of the size of the picture, the date taken, or name, okay? So we want similar photos. We'll click any size, any file name, and any time gap. And then uh, there's a matching level. I leave it at exact to start with because once you see your results, you'll be able to slide back and forth. So we're gonna let this uh, go and you can see it's moving pretty fast. I like to compare smaller batches of pictures. Now 2,500 photos is a lot, but sometimes people have you know, 10, 20, 30,000 pictures and you can load it all in here it will take longer to process, but you will be overwhelmed at the results. And uh, some people might be okay just clicking auto mark and letting the program delete, but I like to compare the pictures. I wanna save the photos with the better size, as well as you know the correct date taken if possible. So that's why I usually try to find two folders to compare. So now we have the results and I'm gonna click auto mark. It, is putting a brownish bar at the bottom of the pictures that it thinks should be deleted. So let's just take a look. At the top, you can see it's one of 98 pictures in 49 groups. So that's not terrible. It is a gigabyte of space though. So when you select a picture, you actually can see which folder it is on the bottom. So you see it has selected the picture to keep that's in the duplicates folder and the photo that's in the main 2021 folder is selected to be deleted. Well, that's a problem for me, and I'm going to uh, fix the settings. Okay, so you have the choice to uh, change your auto mark settings. And other things that you would wanna be aware of 
are the date taken. So these results show you the date taken as well as the size is important to look at. In this case, these two pictures are the exact same photo except for the name. Now, uh, the other area you can see information for is on the right hand side and uh, that might be helpful for you as well. So let's take a look at the auto mark settings. I'm going to click the auto mark icon again on the bottom left and I'm going to choose show settings. In the tabs, the ones that I care about are auto mark and auto lock. In the auto mark settings, I have two things that I'm concerned with, the file size and the capture date. There's a whole bunch of items that you could maybe be more important to you and you can move these up and down if you want. So that's up to you, but that's what I go by. Now, the other thing that you can do is in this auto lock tab, this is really a cool feature. You can add a folder to the auto lock. So I'm gonna choose the folder that I think is, you know, my good folder. I don't want to delete anything out of here and I'm gonna add it. And then I'm gonna click apply now. Notice how the, the uh, photos, instead of having the brown mark, now have a gray bar at the bottom. That means it's locked. So we've applied now, we'll close it, and then we'll click continue. Now you can see my photos are safe um, that, that are in the 2021 photos folder and the ones that are in the possible duplicates will be deleted. Now I have 49 in here and I can rest assured nothing's gonna be deleted out of my organized folder and I'm gonna click trash marked. And just like that, <laughs> I've eliminated a gigabyte of space, except I have to empty my finder. Now on the top right, you can change the matching level to catch more. So now I'm gonna click auto mark again. And this time I'm noticing that my folder is not locked again. And this is something that you wanna keep an eye on with your settings. I'm locking it again, I'm gonna click continue. And again, the photos that are in my uh, duplicates folder are gonna be the ones marked for deletion. I also want to point out, see now we have a different size and 9.5 megabytes is large, but I'd rather I guess keep that than the 2.6 megabyte. So uh, you can see how you can work with your duplicates uh, with having two folders makes it a little easier. One more thing here. So there are a few photos like 137 and 138 here. They look similar <laughs> and um, they're, they can't be deleted uh, because they're all in that same folder. I did just uh, adjust the matching level and now I cannot get those same four pictures to be showing. It's kind of funny. You can have different results even in the same um, batch of pictures that you're working with. What I really wanted to show you is when you have a lot of photos, let's just click auto mark here, and you change the matching level down, and maybe you do want to eliminate some of your similars. Like here, this, this picture is not a duplicate, it's a similar photo, and maybe I like this photo better. I can click on the picture and it'll be kept, and I can click on this picture and delete it. So you click on it, like double click on it to change it back and forth. So you can manually edit what the computer has auto marked for you. If you have questions, definitely let me know. Now, are you still overwhelmed by your photos? If you are, I would love to talk with you. I have a calendar link below and you can schedule a time with me. We'll talk about some of your situation and, and I can share with you a little bit about how we help people here at Pixology. If you do want a video on organizing photos on a Mac, watch that one next. We'll see you the next time. <laughs>